In this video, we're going to explore two different ways in which we can import a series of photos to create a video file. In this first approach, we're going to import the folder with all the pictures in it. Going to File, Import, File. I'll select the folder with the images, making sure that Create Composition was not checked. I'll click Open. And all our images should be inside that folder in sequence. Now the next thing we want to do is bring this into the timeline and define the comp window. So I'll open up the folder and I'll shift select all the images from the top down and then I'll just drag them into the comp window. You'll get a prompt to determine how long you want each of those images to be. I've just set the number to 15 frames and I'll click OK. When we do that it defines the composition as 15 frames too. But we know we're going to need 18 seconds really when we're going to be done but we're going to add a minute of time so that we've got extra room in the timeline to play around with. By selecting the timeline and hitting command K or by going to composition the top of the user interface and choosing composition settings. I can now set the duration to whatever time I want. I'll go ahead and put in one and four zeros and I'll click OK. And now if the timeline is selected still, I can hit minus on the keyboard and it'll show me the excess time I have to work with. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to line these pictures up one after the other like a descending stairway. And we need to make sure that we've started by selecting the topmost image and shift selecting the very last one. Now I'll go to animation at the top of the user interface, keyframe assistant, and I'll click on sequence layers and click OK. Now the next thing I need to do is to find the very end at the last image. I'll select just the last image in the left hand side of the timeline and I'll hit O on the keyboard to go to the out point. The next thing I want to do is shift select the rest of them and then we're going to go to layer, pre-compose layer and I'll give it a name making sure that move all attributes has been chosen and I'll click OK. I've put all my images into an editable composition. The playback head is where the clip ends. I'll hold down my option key and hit the close bracket to define the actual comp and now we need to reduce that to six seconds. Right clicking on the comp I'll go to time, time stretch. For the new duration I'll select all the numbers and put in 600 for six seconds. Now I can see where my new six second interval ends. Now while it's select I'll hit O on the keyboard. And if I wanted to now I could hit N on the keyboard as well and that will let me preview it without going through the whole timeline we defined. Now I'm going to import the Cola Vita text and also the audio file. I can hit Command I or go to File Import. I'll start by putting the Cola Vita text in the upper right hand corner and then I'll drag the audio file into the comp window. Now the audio file needs to be edited so in the timeline I'll open up the attributes below into waveform. If we look closely we can see the waveform doesn't begin until a few frames in. Roughly three frames in we see the beginning of the file. I'll make it two. With the audio file selected I'll hold the option and hit the open bracket. Now I want to put it against the beginning of the timeline so I'll hit home on the keyboard to put the playback head snug against the beginning and then with the clip selected I'll hit the open bracket by itself. And if we were to tap our spacebar we have something like this. Now we need to have three versions of the same file. I need to put these new files into a composition with the actual imagery. And I'll hit O on the keyboard with the Cola Vita comp selected and I'll shift select the elements in the timeline. I'll go to layer and I'll go to pre-compose layer. Making sure move attributes are there and then I'll name them. And holding down the option key I'll hit the close bracket. So now we've completed one six second iteration. We need two more. I'll select it. I'll hit command D on the keyboard to duplicate and then I'll shift and snap it to the location of the playback head. With the second clip selected I'll hit O on the keyboard again. Command D to duplicate and I can either shift and snap or I can just tap the open bracket icon next to the letter P to put it into the position I want. So we have three iterations that we wanted. Now I have to define the out point so I can export this as an H.264. So with the last clip selected I'll hit O once again and then I'll hit N to define that just below the time iterations here. I'll either go to composition, head to render queue or hit command shift M to make movie. In my render queue where it says output module I'll click on H.264. I'll click OK. Next I'll go to Output 2, clicking on the blue term not yet specified. And here's where I can name my file and direct it to where I'd like to have it save and click on Render. 